for those of you that don't know who I am and for this video I have no structure I have no game plan for what I'm gonna say and that's exactly what I had or didn't have when I quit my 9-to-5 job and booked the one-way ticket to Hawaii so what I really want to express to you is that you don't always need a game plan to go do something crazy and start to build the life that you really want um, I had a perfectly good 9-to-5 job 
I was young too, by the way. I was like 18 or 19. So I had things somewhat set for me and I was building a solid foundation for the nine to five world for me. But I got to a point where I realized that, you know what, this is not me. This is not the life that I wanna live. I wanna do something crazy and be able to have the freedom to live life on my own terms. And so what did I do? I quit my nine to five job on a Friday and booked a one-way ticket to Hawaii uh, that night and then took the first flight the next morning. And so I, did I know anything about Hawaii? No. Did I have a place to stay? Did I know a single person out there? No. I literally landed in Maui, Hawaii at the airport at I think noon on that next day. Um, I was on the, my computer at the airport for two hours on Craigslist trying to find a place to stay. And it was probably the, yeah, it was, it, this was about a year ago, a little less than a year ago. And it was probably the craziest thing I've done so far because it was so unplanned. It was so, I guess, not smart if you're asking someone, hey, should I do this? Uh, I remember I sent my dad a text message saying, hey, just to let you know, I'm, I booked a one-way ticket to Hawaii and I'm about to hop on my plane. I'll text you when I land. And you know what? My dad flipped out when he called me as soon as I landed. He was like, what the hell are you doing? This is insane and you know, blah, blah, blah. But after a day or whatever, and I kept, I had sent him a bunch of pictures of the place that I ended up finding that night. And I'll get to that in a second. Um, he was like, wow, I'm jealous, I should join you. And like all of a sudden he was like super pumped for me. Uh, and so my point is that um, you don't need to have a game plan and plan out your life and have, do what you th everyone else tells you that you need to do. This message is not just meant for people that are younger, you know, after graduated high school to right after they graduate college. This is for anyone and applies to any aspect of your life. Just whatever you want to do in life, you need to just go for it and decide that you're going to end up making it happen. So me deciding that I want to break free of this job that I was starting to really dread. I, I don't like routine. I don't like doing the same thing over and over again. And that's what I was doing at my job. So I decided that, you know what, it's time to cut that. So what I did was, yeah, I came, I went to Hawaii and for a couple hours, I was starting to stress out. And I think this is a big um, part of the journey of taking the leap for I, pretty much everyone in whatever area of life that you're doing it is once you take that leap, you have that excitement and you feel good, but all of a sudden things don't work out the right away. Um, you know, when you take that leap and you're falling, all of a sudden you're like, wow, that's a gorgeous view at first. But then all of a sudden you're like, wow, like my parachute has not come out yet. Why is this, what is happening? And you start to freak out a little bit. But, and so then that's what I was happening, that was happening to me too. I was starting to be like, holy shit, I'm in a place that I know nothing about. I don't know a single person here. And all of a sudden it was starting to get dark and I was starting to really stress out. But all of a sudden someone gave me a call after I called like 50 people saying, hey, do you have a room available? Hey, can I come live with you? One person said, hey, yeah, I have a place that's available, come check it out. And so I, I think I hopped on the like bus or whatever to go to them and check out the place. And I ended up finding like the most perfect spot. I had my own room, I had an ocean view, I had um, a really cool house and like the perfect spot. There was a private little beach. The house had eight dogs, which was insane because that many dogs in one house is a pretty good sized house too and nice backyard but my point is that this was like the most perfect setup that i could imagine and i was paying a lot less than what i was paying back in california like i was paying a really good price especially for what I, for hawaii i was paying a great price for what i the setup that i found i was paying an amazing price it was basically a steal and I, would i have been able to come across this amazing opportunity in build something so awesome for myself if I hadn't taken that leap? No, I would have been stuck at my nine to five job still, going to work every day, dreading going to my job and just not being happy. This was the most insane thing I did and it ended up working out for me. So my point that I wanna to get to you is that, one, you don't need to plan out your life. You don't need to plan out all these things because I mean, right now I'm running my business and if you wanna learn more about that, you can click the link in my bio. I run a digital marketing agency, but basically I had no game plan really and I was like, you know what, what am I gonna do? I, 
I, I was starting to stress out a little bit, but I just told myself, you know what, you're gonna figure it out and things will work out. And guess what, that's exactly what happened. Um, I'll probably make another video on all that stuff later, but the thing is, yeah, just take that leap of faith and decide what kind of life you want and with what you're doing right now does not align with the life that you want, then you need to do something. You need to change things. And sometimes it takes that booking one-way ticket to Hawaii and quitting your nine to five job to really figure that out. And so um, for a lot of people that like to plan things, they're probably not gonna like this video, but for those of you that want to see a dramatic shift in your life and you know you need to take a leap of faith, then this might be something that you need to do. So that's just my two cents. That was my experience and it was probably the most insane thing that I did and it really set the tone for my business, the life that I've been able to build for myself so far and all the things that I'm gonna be doing so from here on out. Just that mindset of just not being afraid to take that jump because that jump can bring so many amazing things. So yeah, I recommend you take that jump and just see how it goes. And let me know in the comments how it does go if you end up doing it or of an experience that you did have because I wanna see all the stuff that you've been through that you're going to go through. And yeah, so hope you like this video. Um, I'll try to make more similar to this. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.